morning. Um, gonna work the flats as I've been doing lately. Um, fish have been active and I'm working the outer edge um, maybe 100 yards or so from the from the outside edge of the grass. Um, so working probing this area for, for trout and anything else we might come across. Um, right now I'm working a soft plastic swim bait on a jig and just kind of doing a, a subtle jerk swim retrieve. Okay, another trout. Come on, bud. Another trout. And he's a little guy. Another fish. Doesn't feel very big. And it's another cookie cutter trout. Get him in. Get him a quick release. Let the hands. Got him right in the lip. And there you go, bud. No harm, no foul. Okay, fish on. Get him up front. He's a little beefier of a trout. I don't think he's going to make slot, but he looks to be about uh, 12 to 13 inches. Sean. Baby trout. Come here, buddy. Wet my hand. Get you unhooked. If you stop jumping. Relax. You're no worse for wear. Time for his grandpa. Okay, this is a bigger one. Oh, I got fish jumping up in front of him. And I'm kind of setting that hook just to make sure this time I've got him. And let's see what we've got. Mm. And we're gonna change spots. A lot of little fish in that area. I'm gonna move over. I feel like I've kind of worn that spot out. And just you know, I, I, I'm I've always been a one of those glass half full guys, as opposed to glass half empty. I like to look for the the positive spin on. Just about any situation, and I'd rather be catching small fish than no fish. Because I believe me, I and we've all been out there and had plenty of those outings where we caught no fish. So I would certainly rather catch small fish than no fish for two reasons. Well, actually, for more than two reasons, but for 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 several reasons. One because that's kind of what it's all about is catching fish you can't control necessarily even the best fishermen can't control the size 
or how often they're going to catch them. So just the sheer act of catching fish is is the fun of the sport. Anytime you can catch something that's a bragger or something to throw in the frying pan, that's always a bonus. But most of us fish, I think, just for the thrill of catching fish. So catching those small guys is all part of it. But, uh, you know, more importantly, I think, is catching those small fish means they're out there. And it means that the population is procreating and it, particularly in Tampa with the red tide we had last year that just decimated our our fish population it's really encouraging to see the numbers of smaller fish that are out there so that's positive and then just the fact that you're working on your skill set and catching those small fish um, you know pretty much the same techniques are going to work for catching those big fish when you do come across them so uh, it allows you to try new approaches new techniques experiment you know with colors in different situations different environments and I think you know color uh, it's not so much maybe you know when you're fishing in the channel 30 40 feet but certainly when you're fishing in three four or five feet of water and in, in clear water color can certainly make the difference sometimes so fish on so uh you know that's certainly something to uh to do is look at that as an opportunity to work on your skills and what you're using to catch the smaller guys will invariably help you learn to be a better fisherman when it comes to catching the big guys and let me get my hand wet this guy's a fatty but a little too small to keep so he goes back so there you have it um, you know what I'm learning is just the different ways to work a paddle tail which is the bait I'm using right now I'm using a paddle tail on a jig and uh, you know I can work a lot of different retrieves whether it's a, a pop and go or a, a constant swim or Oh, there we are. That one's a little bigger. Ooh, that's a little bigger fish. So I'm going to focus on bringing him in. Because he's peeling some drag. And I hope he's a big trout. He's, he's fighting. Ooh, he looks big. Let's get him in here. So moving, moving and changing spots helped. Oh my, oh my, he's a biggie. Let me see what he is though, I haven't quite made out. If he's a red, or if he's a trout. Oh, he's a cobia, he's a cobia. Oh, we got cobia on the kayak. I don't think he's gonna be keeper size, so they've changed the limit on those guys. 37 inch to the fork but he's that's my first cobia in the kayak so that's exciting I don't want to get him hung up in the anchor and bringing him on board when he's green <laughs> won't be the best choice either so I'm almost hoping he's gonna throw the hook at some point because these guys are thrashers Ooh. He's a big one. Oh, he's not a keeper big, but he's certainly a good kayak size. So, <laughs> I guess that kind of makes my point. Um, you fish for small guys, and you're going to catch some big ones along the way too. And he's not a, a big fish as far as cobias go, but he's a a nice size fish. So let me work on trying to get the release on him without him tearing the boat up. And we'll get back. Okay, so we got the release on, on him. At least he's de-hooked. Please don't flop around. I just want to get a measurement. And he is 
26, about 24 to the fork. So he's not a keeper, but uh, wow, look at that. So it kind of proves my point. Fishing for those small fish, and you get opportunities to, to pick up guys like these along the way. So I'm trying to get the safe release on him. And he's gone. No harm, no harm to him. So that was fun. Um, and yeah, like I was saying, catching uh, catching those small guys. You never know what's going to happen. So he did a number on the hook. So we're going to do a little bit of repair on that. He doesn't feel like he's done any chafing to the leader, and my loop knot held up. So. Let's retie and get back out there. So it's been a fun couple hours out on the water this morning. Trout bite has been pretty much non-stop. Most of the fish, well, most of the fish have all been uh, under slot or just under slot, but that's okay. He also hooked into that cobia, so that certainly made it a worthwhile trip because it's just not every day you can connect with one of those guys. And I want to take this opportunity to thank those of you who have been watching these videos. Um, I appreciate it, really do.